the track limits warning a few moments ago. So obviously repeating X seeing the track limits. Final corner catches out Kinnett. He's had his problems with front tyre stability and braking throughout this uh, Qatar double header. Unfortunately, it's the front end that gives up on him in that turn 16. Race over for Kinnett. Lorenzo Fallon has got to take a long lap penalty. He's exceeded track limits too many times. Garcia, they're lunging on oh, oh, contact. First faller of the day we have, and it's Artigas. Oh, well, last weekend he was the instigator. Tonight he's the victim, unfortunately. Tatai and Artigas will be investigated. I think Tatai won't be able to complain too much if he gets a, oh. a long lap penalty. Salach is down. Salach, after what was looking like being his best ever evening of Moto3 oh, racing, he's gone out of the race. Toba leads, there goes McPhee, he now leads for the first time in this race. Through comes Darren Binder, past three or four bikes, he's going to lead into turn one. Yeah, that was a oh, shame! Oh, 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 and McPhee's gone down again, oh, John McPhee, how was your luck in 2021? And it's the two men, I oh, don't McPhee. Know. McPhee thinks it's Jeremy Alcoba's fault. Oh, oh dear, dear me. John, don't do that. Oh, no. That's a trip to race direction, oh, you cannot do that. We'll drop behind. Did he drop? Where is it? What's happened here? I'm trying to work out on the timing monitors. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. were definitely, definitely yeah, I can both see a girl lost tangled a couple up. of spots. Yeah. Well, was he just run out wide by Ayagura? It's hard to tell from that well, one. Let's find oh, out. Yeah, we'll find out now. No, that's Remy's. Oh, blimey, that's Joe's doing. Ayagura got sucked into that one. <laughs> I kind of ruled Marco Betsecki out of this race once before. Wow, Luti was in wide there, wasn't he? As soon as he grabbed the brake there.